Well, dialogue is slated to continue. On Thursday of this week, the Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov is expected to meet his American counterpart, Antony Blinken, in Geneva. And as well, there remains at least the possibility that Putin and Joe Biden himself will also meet soon. To discuss the diplomatic efforts, let's go to Washington now. Our correspondent, Ketavan Gorgistani, is on the line. And Ketavan, tell us a bit about how um, the Americans view these diplomatic efforts this week. Well, uh, this is part of uh, their strategy and their message that Diplomacy will be open until the very last minute. Uh, that said, they're being uh, very cautious about whether uh, these meetings, whether it's uh, the diplomatic meeting between uh, Secretary Blinken and Sergei uh, Lavrov or uh, the potential presidential summit between uh, uh, Joe Biden uh, and uh, Vladimir Putin. So uh, they are being very cautious. and. Every time uh, the uh, White House officials uh, talk about the possibility of either one of these two meetings, they always add, if Russia doesn't invade or if there is no further military escalation. So they're being uh, extremely uh, cautious. Secretary Blinken uh, yesterday on uh, the Sunday shows uh, said that all depends on what Russia does in the coming days. So he's not confirming at all that his meeting uh, with Sergei Lavrov will definitely happen. It looks like it, but they're uh, very uh, careful as to what happens in the next few days, possibly, for example, if uh, Vladimir Putin were to recognize uh, those uh, separatist uh, regions, uh, as he said that he was considering, that could put a damper on uh, those possible uh, meetings. So uh, they are trying to show that uh, diplomacy is still ongoing, because that has been their message all along. But in the statement from uh, Jen Psaki, the White House press secretary, uh, yesterday confirming the uh, agreement in principle for a presidential summit, at the end it said, says, currently, Russia appears to be continuing preparations for a full-scale assault on a Ukraine very soon. And that, of course, is what is preventing them uh, from really uh, confirming and uh, locking down uh, those meetings, whatever that level is. Ketavan Gorgistani for us there in Washington. Thanks very much indeed for your reporting this afternoon.